Hey, welcome to my video on scanning for NPM vulnerabilities using GitHub Actions. So, if you don't really know what this is about, uh, GitHub Actions is a CI CD pipeline offered by GitHub.com. It is uh, very awesome. I quite enjoy it. I use it constantly now. Uh, from someone speaking from using other services as well as other using uh, tools like Jenkins, I for definitely much prefer this being built right into GitHub. Uh, the NPM vulnerabilities, I have a video on how to scan for Maven vulnerabilities. This is just a, a nice, safe, quick way of keeping an eye out on anything that is becoming deprecated or has a security issue. There's also under your GitHub repository, you also have a security, you can turn on security, security alerts. That's highly recommended as well. Pretty much what the method of uh, for setting this up is fairly simple. What we're going to do is set up a, a basic, um, capture the output of your NPM install. It, it tells you how many vulnerabilities are in that are in the packages that you just installed. Using that information, we're just going to do a grep on it, check check to see if that number is greater than zero, and if it is, just fail the pipeline. So I can just show you quickly the steps. I have this vi this whole document in the description. It's a link right on uh, for my personal website. I set up my pipeline. Uh, I run npm install. As you can see, I have a number of vulnerabilities. I execute this script, which I'll explain in a second, or in the actual video. If it finds some vulnerabilities, it exits. Otherwise, it continues, and then I set up my GitHub Actions workflow. All right. Uh, we're going to be using React uh, GitHub Pages, this repository here. I'm just opening it up right now. Uh, it will be our sample. I know there are security vulnerabilities in it. So let's get started with this. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is download this repo repository. Next, I'm going to create a new repository. So, git new, github.com slash new. I'm assuming you have some basic understanding of how GitHub works. So, I'm going to say demo npm is going to be my repository name. I'm going to keep mine private. And I'm going to hit create. I'm going to open up terminal here. Make it bigger so you can see it. I'm just going to switch to my desktop. That's where I'm going to work. I'm going to do a git clone. And I should get the whole git URL. Copy it here. It's this one here. Git clone and then just paste it. And I'm gonna switch into that directory. I should do open this directory. I'm gonna copy all my my React GitHub pages files into here. And close that. And close that. And I can just say git status. As you can see I have files here. I'm just gonna commit them all up to master so that I have something on my remote repository. Okay, perfect. So I if I refresh my page here, I have code here. Perfect. Now it's time to set up uh, well let's see first see where we're gonna find the information related to the vulnerability check. So if I should just run npm install I'm assuming you have Node installed in your computer. It'll do a full installation of um, this package.json. It'll check its dependencies and it'll output any vulnerabilities that exist. If you want to get specific, actually, you can even use like the deprecated warning. You could stop your pipeline if you get anything that's deprecated. That's like another perfect another example of this. Not very hard, not really different. You just change the keyword that you're searching for. Okay, as you can see, we have this line here, number of vulnerabilities found. So, so I'm going to open up an editor. Uh, I'm going to use Adam myself. And we're just going to write a single bash script. So I'm just going to create a folder called scripts. Scripts. And I have a name on this in this lesson. I'm just going to copy it just for consistency. So, oh, it's in the folder called pipeline. So I'll add that one in too. So scripts and then pipeline. And, and I'm just going to copy the full script in there. And Adam. And I'm just going to explain. So essentially what's going to happen is it's going to remove any of the previous output from our last run. So this step doesn't matter right the second. It's going to create an empty file called npm install output. So all that stuff that we just saw happen, it'll be alped into a file. So this file, 
it will then uh, take a look for something that matches this so uh, one to six uh, digits in length and it's a zero to nine and it has the word high after it it's essentially I, I was playing around with this and I figured out that this would catch all vulnerabilities essentially if it does find it and it's not zero because it may say found zero vulnerabilities um, it will say yes security vulnerability it'll exit with a one in your pipeline uh, exit with a, a number and it will cause your pipeline to fail otherwise it will continue through we can test this out on our local by just running bash scripts pipeline and then scan for vulnerabilities So as you can see, it outputted here, yes, security vulnerabilities found. We will fix them. I'm just going to first uh, output this up to uh, set up my GitHub Actions pipeline, and then I will fix them. So the next step here is setting up your GitHub Actions. So it goes into my .github folder slash workflows, and then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to run mine on master, or I think I didn't use that name. I'll run it on all pipelines. So I'm going to create a new file. And in this file, I'm just going to copy the contents from here. And I'll explain what happens in this file. So on every push to master, I'm going to use the Ubuntu image. I'm going to run on node 10, because like, that's what I have installed on my computer. It's going to do a git checkout. It's going to set up node. And then the last step is it's going to execute my bash command. With all of that, we can just say git add all, git commit, added scan, and workflow. I'm just going to give you a git push. I'm going to look back at my repository. I head over to github actions. I have no workflows. Refresh the page, you'll eventually see one. As you can see, my master deploy CI is running. This will have the same outcome as before with the yes, it found errors. So it's setting up node 10. And just do my npm install. Catching the output. And it's going to do a grep on that output. Okay, so it says, you know, one failure. Uh, so yes, security vulnerabilities found. Perfect. That's what we were looking for. If I scroll up here, it just gives me this, npm audit fix. This is my quick fix just for this demo on how to fix all my security vulnerabilities. Um, you sh should probably be aware of what you're doing here, but in this case, I know that it will work and my application will continue to work. Continue to work. The nice part about using a bash script is either you, it allows you to be able to run it on your local or on the remote uh, pipeline. This helps because sometimes you want to, if you're trying to fix just the security vulnerabilities or something like that, you could just test it out without bother wasting resources on the pipeline remotely. I'm just jumping ahead to the final installation. I pause the video, that's the easiest way. Just my internet's a little slow, so this installation's taking some time. Once that's done, you can now either test on your local, which what we will do just to confirm that it works. So scan for vulnerabilities. Now here's a case of where that remove with the, the uh, force flag uh, comes into play. We just want to remove the previous run we did there. We already had the npm output, so if we had vulnerabilities in that case, but not no longer. Or at least we hope we don't have them any longer. Okay, so as you can see, no security vulnerabilities found. So let's just.
push that up and make sure our pipeline runs the same. And that's a push to master. I'm gonna go back to my actions here. As you can see, it's been triggered. As you can see, it has passed, so no security vulnerabilities found, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the easiest way to set up a security check in your GitHub Actions video uh, <laughs> pipeline, not your video, in my video. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a new video next week, next Wednesday. Please come check it out. I have other videos on GitHub Actions. It's a new and interesting CICD tool that I highly recommend. Thanks for watching.